this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of December 8th, 2023. Here are some upcoming events. The Hiking Vision Van will visit the secondary campus on Monday, December 11th. The last day of the elementary holiday shop will be Monday, December 11th. This is your student's last chance to buy fun and exciting gifts for families and friends. Wednesday, December 13th will be the chocolate fountain party for students who sold eight or more items during the fall catalog sale. December 15th, we are having a fourth and fifth grade holiday party. Tons of fun will be had by all. Tickets are on sale now for $10 and need to be purchased in advance. This is a fundraiser for the Lion King and Safety Patrols. The party will be 5.30 p.m. until 8 p.m. December 23rd through January 8th is winter break. Students will return to school on January 9th. January 15th, there is no school in celebration of Martin Luther King Day. Here's a word from our administration. Greetings PBMA family and friends. Here at the secondary campus, we have started our PM2 testing. Our students are doing an amazing job so far. Want to send out a special shout out to student Ibrahim Farhan for scoring a level five on PM1 and on PM2 so far. Miss Stone does owe you a gift card. Also, the student that shows the most improvement from PM1 to PM2 will also be earning a gift card once all the test results are in. I will announce who that winner is. However, so far, Mr. Abraham has won for maintaining a level five across both sessions so far. Congratulations for all of your hard work. Just to let you know, parents, we also have midterms and diagnostics that are quickly coming up. We are in the full swing of testing season and I know our students are going to do amazing. Please ensure that they're in their proper uniform dress code, as well as to ensure that they have a healthy breakfast to take them through the day. Parents, on December 15th, we will be hosting our awards ceremony. These are the students who made AB honor roll as well as principal honors roll. When your students come home with a certificate, please, please be sure to congratulate them. This will be a closed award ceremony due to us having testing. Sorry you can celebrate with us this time, parents, but for the second semester, you will definitely be invited to celebrate with us. Congratulations to all our students who did an amazing job during the first semester. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing rest of your week. Thanks guys. Hey everyone, this week we're at the elementary campus and we're going to introduce the ESC department. I have with me right now, Ms. Pujols, who is the ESC coordinator. Welcome. Welcome, thank you so much. Absolutely, Ms. Pujols has been with us for four years. She started as the ESC coordinator for both campuses and as we grew, we separated and we have an ESC coordinator at both campuses. You'll meet the other one next week. So Ms. Pujols, how has the year been going so far? It has been a very busy year. We've been out there trying to find all of your needy students so that we can service them and get them the help that they need. Um, but the year's going great. It's a fantastic year. Thank you. And for the people that may not know, what are some of the services you provide as the EAC department? So we primarily provide support facilitation, which is our academic support model. But in addition to academic support, we also offer services for speech and language and um, assistive technology for our students who have difficulty communicating. And we really just meet the needs of our students as individuals. So it depends on what we have on our campus and then we meet their needs as needed. Wow. And if you notice, Ms. Pujols is saying we. She is a coordinator and she has a team. So I'm going to turn it over to her right now and let her introduce her team. And on our elementary campus, we have a strong team of fantastic individuals I'd like to introduce you to, not the least of which is our SLP, our speech language pathologist, Ms. Erin Ryan, who provides all the speech and language therapy on our campus. Thanks. Now I'd like to introduce my academic support team. These are your teachers that are in those classrooms every day supporting your students with IEPs. I'd like to start off by introducing Ms. Anderson, Ms. Densky, and Ms. Narenberg. 
This is your academic support team on the elementary campus. Thanks for being on this week, Ms. Pujols, and for introducing your amazing team and educating us on a little bit more about the ESC department. You. See you next week for another Dive In with Andropont and Meet the Shark Crew. This week in the Miss Terciero Media Center, the students continued their study of holidays around the world. We learned about Hanukkah, the festival of lights. The younger students continued to compare gingerbread stories. This week they read Gingerbread Man Loose in School. Let's take a look at what's happening in our STEM and Maritime classes. Students in Maritime Science are learning all about penguins. Younger students compared their height to the height of an emperor penguin and saw if they were bigger or smaller than the penguin. Third grade learned that penguins are birds and what classifies a bird. Second and third grade had fun participating in a penguin waddling race. The fourth and fifth graders science museum projects will be displayed for family and friends on Thursday, December 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. In STEM, grades kindergarten through second grade are working on learning about cause and effect by creating chain reaction using Legos. Grades three to five are working on developing a looping program after building a motorized Lego submarine. So it taught us to do the 25%, but, but we didn't want it to, but we didn't want it to go slow. So we, so we just kept doing it. So we just kept doing this with the re with the so we just kept doing this with the repeat code and then we and and then when we press play it does this over and over again. So what did we call that though, Larry? I would I would call I would call it the carousel of fame. <laughs> but it's a it's a what? It's like a snow, it's like a snow door that spins you around with no safety. <laughs> no safety. Fourth grade visited MacArthur Park last week. The students participated in their habitats and habits curriculum. The students investigated three different ecosystems and used tools to record their data as scientists. They investigated the beach, wetlands, and estuary habitats. They used anemometers to measure and record wind speeds, soil thermometers, and a sifter to check the soil. Afterwards, they reviewed and shared their data. Ms. Hecker's fifth grade class conducted a science experiment. They learned about mixtures by separating them and using properties to identify a mystery substance. They also explored solutions using a pipette to add water to different substances. This hands-on experiment helped the fifth graders turn into scientists. Mr. James High School debate class created a bulletin board featuring the final projects from the fourth speech activity in debate class. This speech featured teammates pitted against one another in a one-on-one -on -one debate format. The posters are meant to display the pros and cons of a particular position on a debate topic. Ten teams debated. These posters are from some of the top students in that class. Here are the PBMA bus drivers spreading holiday cheer. Thank you to Public Supermarkets for inviting us to the Tools for Schools event. PBMA received lots of great school supply donations. And finally, here are our Sharks of the Month celebrating their accomplishments by having popcorn with the principal.
please like Palm Beach Maritime on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll always be informed of the newest information. I'm Mrs. Cooper. Thanks for watching. And remember, an engaged parent is a great parent. Mm -hmm.